Here we are at the 2016 Blade Show and uh, with Tim Reeve, who's going to talk about the Encosi. This is uh, the brand new large Encosi we just brought out this year. Uh, we brought out the small size of it last year at Blade Show. A couple little innovations, a couple new things with the lock mechanism and the pivot. Um, the, biggest, the biggest thing off the bat is that we put two large twin oversized washers in there. So you can actually see in the knife, it actually sticks out quite a bit. Um, so they're sli slightly oversized. What that gives you is a lot of sideways strength. When the, when the knife is opened, you have a lot of sideways strength this way. Um, but then also, you can put a little bit bigger holes in there. Uh, you have less friction that way, uh, less, less drag. And you can put a little bit of lube in there as well. So it keeps that, maintains the very smooth action that we're known for and that everybody loves. Um, but you still have that very strong sideways action or, si you know, zero sideways play. The other part of that is having the large pivot there. As well as we added the, the ceramic ball end lock that we introduced at the Amnum Zone, was also on the Sebenza 25 and the large and small in Kosi's. The ceramic ball makes a very nice interface for the, the end of the lock bar. Um, a lot of times people like an early lockup because they don't really want the life of the lock. Uh, an early lockup lock is an unsafe lock mechanism. Uh, so we give you a nice lockup, but a lock mechanism that will never deteriorate for the lifetime of the knife on you. Now, on the standard Sebenza, we used a hardened, uh, we would heat treat the end of the lock bar, and that would, that would maintain for, for very most of the, the li life of the knife. This, uh, this little ceramic ball is at a, a 97 rock wall, so it's never gonna wear out. It, it is the strongest tip that you could possibly put on there. A lot of other people put a ceramic ball, or sorry, a, a, a stainless steel insert with screws or something like that. That's great, it's a great solution, but I think this one actually works a little bit better and you don't have a, any extra parts. Um, the ceramic ball will never pop out, anything like that. So um, that's, that's the gist of, of that. It's a very nice, strong, lifelong mechanism. Um, we, you know, we kind of started the, the integral lock in, back in 87. Chris put out his first integral lock and uh, that lock mechanism has worked like a charm ever since, and part of our mantra is always in innovating and always pushing the standards, and so this is another one of those things, the little ceramic ball end lock does that. It's nice and strong and lasts a lifetime. Thank you very much. Thank you.